Uh, my name is Ivar Rukavina, and I will present you my thesis, Comparative Evaluation of the Antioxidant Activity of Natural Extracts from the Salt Tolerant Plant, Polygonum Maritimum, prepared by using conventional solvents and naturally deputective solvents. Uh, this master thesis project had been conducted at the University of Algarve at the Center of Marine Sciences under the supervision of Luisa Custodio as a part of Erasmus Plus International Master in Marine Biological Resources. Uh, also taller and Planian and Black Sea coasts and reaches if north limits in Belgium and England. And how fights are plants that the two specific, mostly harsh environments like uh, high salinity and freshwater deficit, uh, due to the high production and accumulation of secondary metabolites, among other uh, protection, among other uh, strategies. And um, uh, secondary metabolites are not only important for plant protection, but they also possess a wide range of medical properties. And um, uh, studies have unraveled a promising antioxidant potential of the extracts made from Polygonum maritimum. And also, um, phytochemical screening had identified many bioactive molecules. Uh, but what are antioxidants and why are they so important? Uh, so, antioxidants are substances with the capacity to react with free radicals and reduce oxidative stress. And free radicals are byproducts of natural metabolic processes or external sources like UV radiation or pollution, and they cause oxidative stress, which leads to cell damage. And the consequences include numerous diseases such as Alzheimer, um, cancer, um, diabetes, inflammations, and many others. And antioxidants used in pharmaceutical and food-related industry can be synthetic or natural, like vitamin C, vitamin E, uh, flavonoids, and tannins. And generally, there is a tendency to replace synthetic antioxidants with the natural ones. Is design of chemical products and processes to reduce or eliminate the use and generation of hazardous substances. So even though plants represent a great resource of bioactive molecules, the focus should not be only on getting the best final result, but on the whole extraction process, uh, on the whole production process, including extraction as well. And conventional solvents like methanol, ethanol, hexane, chloroform had been traditionally used because of the very good extraction and separation capacities. Although the disadvantages of the conventional extraction techniques are high solvent consumption, long extraction times, low use potential of the used solvents, leading consequently to a higher price, and some conventional solvents also have a negative effect on the environment due to the high toxicity, volatility, and flammability. So, green chemistry concept had tackled these problems with suggestion of environmentally friendly solvents and separation processes and has a legislative support of the EU environmental policy. So, naturally deep detective solvents emerge in the context of the green chemistry as a possible green solvents. And natural DS are mixtures made of primary metabolites. Uh, the most frequent combinations are choline chloride, mixed with either sugar, sugar alcohol, organic or amino acids, but there could be also other combinations. And the principle is hydrogen bond acceptor combined with different hydrogen bond donors in a specific molar ratio with a relative melting point of a mixture lower than of the individual components. And as a new type of solvent, natural ADS had been praised for its advantages in accordance with the green chemistry, such as natural and renewable sources of compounds, low cost, low toxicity, biodegradability, and since natural DS are made of substances safe for human consumption, studies have suggested great potential use in pharmaceutical, agrochemical, cosmetic, and food-related industry. So, previous studies had demonstrated that the conventional solvents, acetone and ethanol, were efficient in the recovery of the antioxidants from the biomass of Polygonum maritimum. And having this in mind, the uh, aim of this study was to test the efficiency of natural ADS as a possible green replacement for conventional solvents in the extraction process for the Polygonum maritimum. And within this general aim, specific following objectives were addressed. Uh, the first one was to prepare conventional solvent extracts from biomass of Polygonum maritimum. A second was to prepare natural ADS extracts. And finally, the objective was to evaluate and compare the in vitro antioxidant activities of the obtained extracts. So, choline chloride was used as a hydrogen bond acceptor, and it was mixed with hydrogen bond donors, which were either fructose, glucose, xylose, or sucrose, in a molar ratio of 1 to 2. And 30% of the still water was added in all of the cases, except for the choline 
chloride sucrose, in which 40% of the still water was added because of the better and faster melting. And the mixtures were stirred in the ultrasonic bath in a closed glass flask from 15 to 60 minutes at 50 degrees Celsius for choline chloride fructose and 55 degrees Celsius for other combinations until a transparent and homogeneous liquids were formed. And these natural DS were kept in the dark at the room temperature. Uh, Leaves of stems of Polygonium maritimum were harvested in the south of Portugal in the August of 2017. And dry biomass was mixed with acetone, ethanol, or natural DS in the ratio of 1 to 14. And then an ultrasound assembly. Uh, in vitro antioxidant properties of Polygonium maritimum extracts were estimated with optical absorbance capacity assay, radical scavenger activity on DPPH radical, and uh, on copper halitine activity assays. Uh, for the statistical analysis, have maximal inhibitory values or IC50 values expressed in milligram of initial biomass per milliliter were calculated for radical scavenging and copper halitine activity assays. ORAC values were expressed as milligram trolls equivalent per gram of initial biomass, and the differences between means were analyzed by Weinmayanova, followed by Duncan's new multiple range test. Uh, so, um, four natural DS were prepared in this study, and after the synthesis, a clear, transparent, and homogeneous liquids were formed in all four cases. But nevertheless, uh, choline chloride glucose and xylose, natural DS, and extracts were not stable because they crystallized within two to three days and they were not included in the further analysis. Uh, choline chloride, sucrose, natural DS, and the corresponding extract showed minor crystallization after six days, and they were included in the analysis, but prior to the assays, they were steered into ultrasonic bath until the dissolution of the crystals. And choline chloride fructose, natural DS, and extract, they were stable. So in this study, properties of polygonium maritimum extracts were estimated with three assays because it is accepted that the combination of several methods is necessary to encompass different antioxidants defense mechanisms. So uh, radical scavenging activity on DPPH assays evaluates the ability of the antioxidant to scavenge this free radical. And DPPH is a synthetic, not a natural radical, but nevertheless, this method is nowadays standard, simple, and widely used. In the other hand, ORAC, assay measures antioxidant inhibition of peroxyl radical induced oxidation. And uh, this method is considered to be biologically relevant because peroxyl radicals naturally occur in the living organisms and they're linked to the pathogenesis of diseases such as um, atherosclerosis, asthma, kidney damage, and others. And uh, metal halitine activity methods like copper halitine activity evaluates the capacity of this substance to form bonds with metal ions. Uh, since the excess free metal ions contribute to the formation of the free radicals, which is uh, connected with the neurodegenerative diseases. So results were expressed as IC50 values, except for the ORAC, uh, which is a measure that defines uh, the uh, amount of the inhibitory substance required to inhibit a certain biological process by half. So uh, the most efficient extract regarding radical scavenging activity on DPPH was ethanol, followed by choline chloride fructose, then acetone, and the least effective was choline chloride sucrose. But the antioxidant activity of the ethanol extract was however, however lower than of the positive standard control, which was BHT, and that's a substance with the known antioxidant properties. For the copper halitine activity, the most efficient were choline chloride sucrose and ethanol extract, followed by choline chloride fructose and acetone, and the copper halitine activities of ethanol and choline chloride sucrose extracts were similar to those of the standard positive control, which was EDTA. Uh, ORAC values varied from 49 to 328 milligram of trolux equivalent per gram of initial biomass. And unlike the previous assays, where the lower IC50 values indicated higher antioxidant activity, in this essay, the higher the activity, the higher the value, the higher is the activity. So one more time, ethanol proved to be the most efficient extract. Uh, choline chloride, uh, sucrose, and fructose had similar activity, and the least efficient was acetone. And now follows the discussion of the of the result. Uh, so uh, choline chloride um, used in this study as a hydrogen bond acceptor is inexpensive, non-toxic, biodegradable, and commonly used as vitamin for animal feed. And also, choline is an essential element for humans. 
And hydrogen bond donors were naturally occurring sugars, which are inexpensive and affordable and have low toxicity concerns. Um, glucose, fructose, and sucrose are sources of energy for living organisms, uh, while xylose or wood sugar build cell walls in the cereal grains. So NAIC components used in this study fit into a green chemistry framework uh, for the design of profitable products, well, safe for human health and environmentally friendly. Uh, Colic chloride glucose and xylose in a molar ratio of 1 to 2 were not stable, and the reason for this is that at a certain uh, molar ratios, uh, hydroxyl groups from the hydrogen bond uh, acceptor, which was choline chloride, uh, choline chloride in this case, cannot combine with the uh, hydroxyl groups from the hydrogen bond donors, or glucose and xylose in this case, because of the unequal number of the donors and acceptor groups. And this results in um, a formation of a solid precipitate. Um, Colin chloride fructose and mol at the molar ratio of 1 to 2, or 30% of the still water, was stable in this study, although the same combination at the same molar ratio was unstable in the published paper of Dye and others from 2013, and the possible reason could be different amount of the added water, which was not specified in the paper. So, a different hydrogen bond acceptors and donors molar ratios and the amount of the added water influence the stability, which is very important for the successful application of the solvent. Uh, so, um, all the extracts revealed uh, relevant antioxidant activity, but when comparing the antioxidant activity of natural DS and conventional extracts, both natural DS extract had higher ORAC and copper halating activities than acetone extract, and also choline chloride fructose was more efficient in the radical scavenging. Uh, ethanol extract had similar uh, copper halating activity as the choline chloride sucrose, although it was more effective in the ORAC and radical scavenging assays than both of the natural DS extracts. Uh, when looking just at the conventional solvents, uh, ethanol extract demonstrated higher antioxidant activity of uh, acetone in all of the performed assays, uh, while for the natural DS extracts, results were more equal. Uh, ORAC values of choline chloride sucrose and fructose extract did not significantly differ from each other, uh, choline chloride sucrose was more effective in the copper halating, uh, while choline chloride fructose was more efficient in the radical scavenging. Uh, so, in general, natural DS can serve as an eco-friendly replacement for the acetone in the extraction process, and the high antioxidant activity of polygonum um, maritimum extracts, based on the literature, had been attributed to the high phenolic content and to the presence of several bioactive molecules such as benzoic, phytol, linoleic acids, BHT, and fluoroglucinol. And the results from this study are in compliance with the results reported for the antioxidant activity of the natural DA extracts from uh, several well-known antioxidant plants like um, onion, grape, marjoram, dittany, sage, curcuma. Uh, and uh, the antioxidant activity of those NES extracts uh, were generally higher or similar and only in few cases lower than of the conventional extracts, and the differences in the results were linked to the extraction yield, different solubility of the antioxidant compounds in different solvents, and only in few cases to the interference of the solvent, although in this study the solvent interference can be eliminated because of the use of the solvent in the negative controls in the assays. So, in conclusion, to the best of my knowledge, uh, this is the first report of the use of natural DS to extract antioxidant compounds from a halophyte plant, specifically from the genus Polygonum. Uh, natural DS made of choline chloride with sucrose or fructose in a molar ratio 1 to 2 with 40 or 30 percent of the still water showed a good stability. And natural DS can serve as a good green replacement for conventional solvents, especially acetone, in the extraction process uh, of Polygonum maritimum. Uh, since uh, components are used in diet, uh, choline chloride sugar natural DS could be used as solvent for production of red juice extracts in food and pharmaceutical industry. And in the future, further studies should focus on optimizing the synthesis of the non-stable natural DS to avoid crystallization. It would be desirable to extend this study with phytochemical analysis and determination of phenolic content for better comparison. And as well, an important factor would be to confirm the non-toxicity of the selected natural DS uh, combinations to support the application in the pharmaceutical or and food-related industry. Uh, and at the end, I would like to express my gratitude to my promoter, Luisa Custodio. As well, I would like to thank to the researchers at the Center of Marine Sciences uh, for their help and to the Erasmus Mundus program for the financial support. And also, thank you for your attention.